tug of war as Malami threatens to expose the cabals who ordered Namdekanu's extradition. Hmm. Hmm. Nigeria. 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 We will never, 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 never change. We will never change. This is a confused country. This is a confused country. And it's very wrong and very bad. You understand? How can? Till this very moment, we are still fooling ourselves. Huh? Still fooling ourselves. How can, how can uh, uh, something everybody saw with their two naked eyes? People saw it with their two naked eyes. How Unam the Kanu was extradited. How he was, he, he was captured, tortured, before handed over to, to Malami for extradition. Now develop invisible leg. Having other people's connection or involvement. I know definitely that some persons must have must have plotted you know, the kind of extradition, or some persons must have given the link or advice on how you Nam know, the should be captured and extradited. I know all of that. But at this very moment, for you to see how wicked and self-centered and greedy this country is, to this very moment, the person who is underneath this very evil is still not revealed haba no wonder other countries are afraid of us now abakiari is now threatening to expose that because why because he himself is already falling he himself is already falling it's crazy we're in a very crazy country i'm sorry to say hmm Let's listen to the content. The Minister of Justice, Abu Malami, has expressed sincerity, saying that those involved in the extradition of Unam de Kanu are not minority but majority. I will be forced to, uh, to demonstrate and review the names of these persons if given the chance to do so. The President Mopwari knows I know so much about this and I know how to go about it. He said that Namde Kanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafran, was extradited due to many advice and opinions given and made available by top personalities, both in government and international bodies. Namde Kanu's arrest was an international initiative though brought all the way from nigeria and plotted in international body namkano extradition is masterminded by those in government which till this very moment haven't been revealed only opportunity will give me the chance to do so i have been moved so much to say this because the end part of this very trial is becoming so unbearable that the truth is the only thing that has refused, refused to be revealed. Nam the Colonel has pleaded not guilty of all counts charges despite all of this move. I am on a hot ground and could be forced to review these persons. They know themselves and they know how I can do it. I only show my apology to those who may have been affected in the process of doing this. Namde Kanu has been shot and his families has also been shot. The truth is what everyone wish to hear, but what about those who have refused to reveal the truth? 
it cannot be hidden. I may be moved to do so, he claimed. If I'm calling this guy, Malamin, an idiot, some people will say that I don't know what I'm talking about. For the fact that one attended, the, attended a university or passed through the four wall of a university doesn't mean that the person is matured. Maturity doesn't come, doesn't count by the number of university or the number of degree that you have been able to acquire. Same goes to intelligency. This guy is not single intelligent at all. See how he's talking like a kid. Beating around the bush. This is the same attitude they put up in the period of the NSAS protest. Till this very moment, the Nigerian army are still denying that fact that they never shot those protesters. They are still denying it all, that they never shot those protesters and that they never killed anybody. They are still lying. Now look at what Malami has just said. I, did, I didn't get anything from what he has just said right now. He is still floating on the waters. He never revealed the name of anybody. But he has just given us an insight that some cabals, both local and international, are involved. The advice came from local but was initiated internationally. I knew it. Do you understand? But there is something I must say. First of all, Nigeria as a country is already a corrupt country. The corruption has eaten so deep that we cannot be able to bear it anymore. You understand? It's too crazy. It's too crazy. I cannot, I cannot dance to this very tune. I can't. Can you imagine? No wonder other countries are afraid of us. No wonder that other countries cannot bear, bear, bear to see us in their own country because of the level of corruption in our country. Oh, shit. Hmm, my dear listeners, forgive me for what I'm about to say. I regret the day I became an Nigeria. I'm telling you. I regret it because this is not a country. This is not a country. I don't know of you. And that is why, even as I am not an Igbo, I will still go with the Biafrans. I'm telling you. I don't know what you think. I don't know what your opinion or your idea on this that I've just said. Don't forget your opinions are still very much important. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.